Time for the next phase. If you look at the Forerunner, there's something missing. And something added. So I would have started talking about this recording this earlier, but uh, we had a bunch of hot air balloons overhead, and all you'd hear is just burning propane as they fly overhead. So we're trying to figure a way to mount a eight foot awning. Eight foot awning from ARB is good between 6.2 and 6.8 feet. We are at 90 plus inches up there at the top of that rack. Um, the ideal height is where that beam ice clamps is. That looks really low, but that beam is actually the same height as my wife's forerunner. <laughs> so that's, that's going to be still plenty high. Um, the reason why we do this is because we have the complete awning room. If it's just a straight awning, so be it. The angle's down, but the awning room needs to be at the right height. Uh, so this is our plan. We don't want to mess. We don't want to mess with the actual flatbed. So we're going to clamp. We're going to clamp onto that side. This side over here, we're going to bolt straight through, kind of like we did with the top rails. And then what we're going to do, this is just for example purposes only. We're going to put a piece like this. And then we're going to put a second bolt here. That'll keep it from rotating. And on this side, since we don't want to permanently mess with this, we'll actually put, this will be a full-size member. Boom, right there. Clamp, and we'll do a through clamp like we did to the top member up there. And we'll have another clamp down here. And what we'll do is we'll have it so, we'll push it down so it settles on this cross member as a beam so it won't, um, won't drop down. And as you can hear, my dogs are still going crazy about the hot air balloons. So, other thing you might notice is it looks like it's at a different level to the to the headache rack up up there. This headache rack, uh, we're doing that on purpose because we want we need this to be perfectly close. We can level to the truck bed because it's going to have something attaching to the ground. The rack is angled slightly uphill, and I explained to you reasons why that before, uh, so it can still do its material handling job. Okay, let's get cutting. So before I get cut, I'm going to mark out where I want to place all these things so I have a good template. And then uh, some cutting, welding, and this is a relatively, hopefully relatively fast bank up job. Once again, I said, why are choosing these members? It's because what I have. I'm trying to do stuff I already have. This apple will need to be three inches long, 12 foot, 12 inch piece. I'm just going to cut this down. Got my four brackets for the the awning itself. Now that for that, I cut this down. I'm doing this so I don't need to have massive bolts to uh, connect it all. Wish we could say it's more complicated than that, but 
kind of glad it isn't. So, take these real quick to the belt sander, clean up the edges, then I'll come back and drive the welder out here and do the welding out here. It's cool, not windy, perfect for welding. Actually, I lied. I gotta cut two pieces of flat bar to make the mounting ends for this. So, I'll be doing that. If you haven't noticed, I have essence of plan, not really a plan on this. I'm really going by the seat of my pants. It's nice to just build stuff occasionally. So that is what I am doing. So you ever change your mind? Yeah. The flock of birds. Well, I'm changing my mind. So what I'm gonna do, take my angle grinder, cut the back so it makes it into a trough, so I can use the existing hardware a little faster to get it done. What I'm doing here, I'm just gonna give myself a couple of lines to follow so I'm not trying to guess. I'll get close I can without actually going into the base material. So humid fog over as soon as I put my glasses on. Okay, here we go. Ear Pro. I need your Pro for this one. I'm gonna smooth up the edges so there's a chance of getting hurt by it. For simplicity's sake, I'm probably just going to weld into the garage. So here's my plan. This is the front beam. This will be up here on top of the cross beam. I'll bolt through to clamp this in. This comes down. This comes out. Bolt, bolt. Bolt through clamps down. That clamps down to that front beam of the um, flatbed. The top beam comes all the way over. Comes down. Comes down to this guy. We'll drill a hole. Drill a hole. So it'll be drilled in two spots. Clamp down. So that'll, that'll help torque up and down if we get wind, and it'll help tie the whole rear rail together. One of the downsides of having a garage, as opposed to uh, a full shop. Okay, so, first member here, other side over there, then I'm just gonna evenly space out four drop downs. The uh, awning has track, and can go anywhere it wants. Okay.
when it's clamping the beam by itself, they had a little bit different angle, didn't really matter. Now it does. I fully will that thing out, so I'm just going to have to figure a way around it. I'm probably just going to bolt the crap out of it down, let the beam twist a little bit. <sighs> Wife isn't here to help me this time because she's at the store. So, time to help myself. I'm more worried about it falling into the truck, so I'm gonna back it here. So, you can see the mismatch here in the twist. I think over eight feet of clamp down, it'll, it'll straighten out. Um, I'm gonna clamp. I'm gonna clamp up the far side because that's the adjustable side. Get that where it needs to be. It depends on a bunch of where the clamps land. I'm gonna get that done. Then I'll mess with um, let's this side over here. This, this back side Wait, over here. Bolt that through. Bolt that. Okay. So, front's bolted in, the double clamps. You can see a welt forming on my forehead where I spun the drill and hit me with the battery. I'll, uh, I'll leave it recording this time so you might be able to see some stupidity from me. I'm going to drill this side. Ta-da! Now, these four tabs, I gotta measure up my spacing, drill that. I'm trying not to knock myself out again. So it's five centimeters apart. I'm saying centimeters because it's a metric thing, it's just easier than trying to say, you know, it's two and seven sixteenths from that. So it's uh, five centimeters apart, so I'm gonna go down one and a half centimeters, which puts me at one and a half, six and a half. And I mark all of these at the same time so I don't have brain farts and forget. Did. Okay, so your nuts are there. This won't work because I it's not deep enough for it. You ready? I think I got these roughly in the right spot. The rubber side's out. Rubber side out. Oh, we, we don't like this, so you can line them all up.
So the rack is now done. Uh, we have taken it off and painted it black so it's not, you know, the color of rust. The um, awning is mounted pretty securely. We got two bolts, two bolts back here, and it's double clamped it back here. So right now we have temporary storage of the battery, a battery, temporary storage of the tire, and the traction pads are strapped onto the back. Oh, I'll have plenty of room for the 35. And um, once the tires, once the tires are done, I'll actually order the material to make at least the dog box in the front as my uh, my test piece.